فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير The sign of a true believer is the calmness, the contentment that that person achieves in their heart. That's a sign of conviction and firm belief. And it's a sign of being on the straight path. It's a path full of goodness, full of peace and stability, calmness, serenity. These are the words. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us peace. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when you see them, their forms please you. Which means, wow, look at them. They look so good looking. They are, they are big in size, muscular people, mashallah. At that time, the head of the hypocrites was quite a muscular person, big in size, big in size. And if, if the, he was looked at, people would say, wow, look at this guy. So Allah says, do not be deceived by looks. Basically, that's what we're learning. Don't be deceived by the outward appearance of a person. A person who might appear to be a scrawny, thin person who perhaps no one wants to look at might be so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and nobody would have known. Don't maltreat people based on their looks, based on their color, their race and so on. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us in this regard. This verse is a wake up call to say sometimes those who look so pious are actually not. Don't be deceived by the outward looks. That does not mean that do not concentrate on your own outward looks. Remember, it doesn't mean do not concentrate on your own outward looks. You need to make sure that you are also dressed appropriately to please Allah. But don't be fooled by others who may be dressed in a way that seems pious, but they are involved in all sorts of mischief. They are hypocrites. They would like to harm us. People who come to you with a broad smile, be careful. That smile could just be a plastic one. It could just be one that is there in order to deceive you. What's the point of someone who smiles so broad and as you leave, they are stabbing you in your back. I'd rather have a person who frowns, who's upset and lets me know that I'm angry. I'm upset with you because of X, Y and Z. At least I know how to tackle it. At least I know how to answer, how to deal with it. Subhanallah. That person is far better because they're not hypocrites. A person who says, listen, this guy, I'm sorry, I don't like you. I don't like you. Why? Because I think you did this and you did that and that was very bad. It gives you the opportunity to clarify and to clear. But a person who salamu alaikum, you know, with a broad smile from ear to ear, such that you even develop chaps and cracks on your lips. And as soon as you leave, you know, this person here, they're stealing money. From where? From wherever. Or they're doing this. Why couldn't you have told them straight on their face? Don't be a hypocrite. Allah has kept an entire surah named after hypocrites in order to combat people like this. So don't do that. And as much as we talk about others, my mothers and sisters, what's important is for me to ask myself, do I have these qualities? You meet someone, oh, mashallah, sister, how are you? You know, we, mashallah, good to see you. And in your heart, you go, ah, you know, there's a mooing sound of a cow. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive us. Don't ever let that happen. Cleanse the heart, my mothers and sisters. Too many of the Ummah's problems are connected to hypocrites.